Hello folks, today I want to talk about a stock that I recently bought called UiPath. UiPath is a robotic process automation company, or RPA for short, which automates repetitive monotonous tasks like copy-pasting data, sending emails, and filling out forms. UiPath is set to release its fourth quarter earnings report this week, and if it beats estimates of revenue and EPS, I think it could jump up anywhere from 10 to 30%. In this video, I'll go over what UiPath does, its balance sheet, its competitors, technical analysis, and finally, how I am trading this stock and my predictions going forward. Before we begin, most of you are not subscribed yet, so please hit that like and subscribe button to get instant updates when I post videos. And also, I'm not a financial advisor, so take all my content with a grain of salt, and please seek professional financial advice if you need to. So what does UiPath actually do? In the intro, I mentioned that it does robotic process automation. Recently, however, it's added AI automation to its product mix. It's essentially the same as RPA, but used in more complex cases. When it comes to clients, it's a B2B business that tailors to large to medium-sized businesses. Here's an overview of UiPath's ability to add value to an enterprise. First, it discovers areas where improvements can be made using RPA. Then it automates using a variety of tools and low or no code solutions. And then all of these processes become part of a framework where they can be controlled, tracked, and monitored, etc. Now that we understand what UiPath does, let's take a look at some of its financial metrics. As a growth stock, UiPath has a fair amount of share-based compensation. It seems to average around $90 million a quarter, which is a fair amount for a company of its size. However, it's not necessarily a bad thing because there are many companies out there with the same or more levels of share-based compensation that are high performance like Palantir. Because of this, UiPath is still non-profitable on a gap basis. Look at the negative EPS over its lifetime. One positive thing to note is that at least the losses are declining and should soon be positive. This is one of the reasons why I bought this company. It's basically on the cusp of becoming gap profitable and it might even happen this quarter. Another positive aspect to UiPath's balance sheet is that its revenues have been increasing steadily. As you can see on this chart, the revenue is good but not great. What can really turbocharge this though is if UiPath beats estimates in the upcoming earnings release this week. A final positive note is that UiPath carries no debt, which is always a bonus. Moving on to competitors. One competitor who is worth taking note of is Microsoft. Now, they have an RPA platform called Power Automate. It does a similar thing to UiPath's offering, but just looking at product reviews, it looks like UiPath's product is superior. Now, if Microsoft catches up, things could get a little bit dicey because then UiPath will be forced to compete on pricing and marketing. And let's face it, you're not going to beat Microsoft in those areas. So that is a key risk. On the other hand, though, you don't know if Microsoft is eyeing up UiPath right now as an acquisition. If UiPath makes headway in the way of market capture, Microsoft may very well be forced to bite the bullet and lob a high premium bid for UiPath, which would be good for its shareholders. And UiPath should benefit as long as they continue to deliver value to its customers. Look, RPA is still a new industry, and within just a few years, I think demand for these products will explode, especially if they successfully integrate AI into their products. I actually think that the current AI boom is going to supercharge the RPA industry and make it even more effective. Let's take a look at UiPath's chart. It basically crashed in 2022 and hasn't really recovered since. However, it has been basing for nearly two years now. Last quarter, we saw positive earnings and the price gapped up, and it's been consolidating ever since. I think this is because there's still quite a lot of bag holders waiting to sell out who bought at these high prices in 2021. On the positive side, I don't think the price weakness is due to shorters because as you can see, less than 5% of the float has been shorted, which is quite low for a non-profitable stock. Should this week's earnings be good and beat market expectations on both the top and bottom line, we should see it gap up 10 to 20, well, 10 to 30% and hopefully form a new box in the 30s. If the company continues to deliver and achieves several straight quarters of gap profitability for the remainder of the year, I think it can easily reach $50 by year end. Now, this is not a recommendation to buy, hold, or sell the stock. This is just my opinion. The reason why I bought UiPath just before earnings is that I'll know if it's worth owning really quickly. So let's say the earnings report is terrible and the stock gaps down 20%. I'll just sell and move on. But if the earnings report is really good and the gaps, the stock gaps up 20 to 30%, then I know that I'm onto a winner and I'll probably hold on and perhaps even buy more. 
So if you look at it that way, it's a really easy decision. Finally, I'll give you my position and my targets. I bought yesterday at around $23.70 and my stop is around $18. My short term target is $30 and my medium term is $50. Now the fourth quarter earnings report will be released after market close on Wednesday the 13th. In any case, the RPA sector looks like a beneficiary of the current AI boom and if UiPath can use AI successfully, its valuation could expand dramatically. So that's all for today folks thanks for watching please hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more content like this and i'll see you guys next time